I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a turn of the century Mueller & Haynes piano that we're going to be doing a refurbishing on. So not a full rebuild, but it's still going to be a big, big turnaround nonetheless. So first thing, let's just kind of check things out generally. I mean, obviously the this key is something's going on there. We've got these ivory keys that are just in really bad shape. Um, some even missing. This is this is real ivory, but this is actually more common than uh, than not. These it's a shame. I mean, this is this is uh, an elephant gave his life for this, and uh, You're so compassionate, right? Um, of course, that elephant probably died about 1900 or so. Um, but uh, I mean, that is real elephant ivory, and uh, that it's just so brittle. It's a lot more brittle than than um, than modern plastic. Old plastic is pretty brittle too, but this, but but modern plastic is much better. Just coincidentally, we just have um, this is this is ivory that they wanted us to salvage, um, so we've kind of cleaned it up. It looks like plastic. It's so clean. Yeah, it does look like plastic, but if you look closely, you can see the you can see that the grain of the ivory. So this is what you can do with ivory. Is you can it, it works a lot like wood, so you can you can sand it down and then buff it, and that's why it's so clean. It's just been buffed and sanded, and, and you can even bleach it. Um, I can't uh, uh, I can't remember if we bleached this one or not, but but you you can do it, and I've done it I've done it many times before, where you essentially just put it hydrogen peroxide on it and put it out in the sun, um, put some plastic over to prevent it from evaporating. And it works pretty well. The problem is that you, it, it'll make it even more brittle. The, the hydrogen peroxide gets in the pores of the ivory and makes it even more brittle. So it makes it more beautiful, but structurally it causes issues. Well, actually, before we get in there, let's let's look also at the pedals. We've got some issues going on with these, with these pedals. We'll figure that out. Lots of wobble there, and obviously they're not connected to anything. Um, so got some issues. Hey Jake, would you mind grabbing me a uh, lid prop? So we'll look at that in a second. Let's look down below while we get that lid prop. <clears throat> okay, down below, well, there's a piece of ivory. Speak of the devil. It's not in great shape. It has that chip. Oh, and something that I should mention, since we're on the subject of ivory, thanks Jake, is uh, these chips that you have here. What we can do, and what we did do with this with this ivory behind, is everywhere there's a chip, we can actually fill it with acrylic. So, I mean, it's the same acrylic that, that nail salons use. Um, on nails, looks like someone actually did it here. Um, I mean, but there's, I don't know, of 52 white keys there's probably probably at least half of them on this one that that has it if if done if done correctly it's almost uh undetectable you can't if you know it's there you can generally see a little border there um where the where the ivory ends and where the acrylic fills the rest of it in but for the most part it's it's virtually undetectable and it i mean it smells like a smells like a nail salon when when you're working on it we've got different powders white powder and yellow powder that you kind of mix together to get the right shade of ivory different ivories have different different shades of yellowness okay looks like we've got 
some issues on this bridge. Not well, I mean, you know, you've got these cracks there. I don't know if you can see that in this light. That's cracked. And for some reason, this somebody took the dag off of that off of that base bridge. Maybe it's been worked on before. I don't know. Um, you can see the dag. The, that's the, that's what you call this black covering on the on the treble bridge here. And for some reason, it was removed. Oh, the black on that? The black on this, yeah. That's called the dag. That's the dag, yeah. That was so it's on this one, but not on that one. Mm -hmm. I wonder if somebody worked on it at one point in the past and they took it off, maybe did a repair, and didn't, uh, they took all, the, took all the bass strings off, did the repair, took all the dag off, and didn't, didn't put it back on. It's kind of a traditional thing. I think the thinking is that it's lubricant for the, it lasts forever. I mean, 100 years, and the dag stays on there. It's graphite that acts as a lubricant for the strings to kind of glide. But uh, but um, I don't know that it necessarily actually does anything. I don't know if it actually does lubricate the wood surface. I don't know, up for debate, I suppose. Um, okay, so this will, be, this will be immaculately clean later on. We got this lid up. And Jake did the lid up for me because I could hear the the wood cracking as I put the lid up and back behind. Part of the, the issue of what we're dealing with on that on that sound, that tone, that saloon tone. <laughs> Is these hammers? These hammers are just totally, totally worn out. Um, they, uh, those deep, deep cuts. These piano, these hammers have probably been worn out since I don't know, 1950 or something. That's a guess. But uh, the the point is, their the replacement is long, long, long overdue these dampers as well. I don't particularly care for the tone of these bass strings. They're okay. We'll see, we'll see how the combination of new, uh, new hammers and dampers and getting those bass strings clean um, and getting them tuned, how that works out. Because we're this project, we're actually just doing the, the hammers. We're going to replace these dampers. Of course, we're going to clean everything so it'll look beautiful. We'll redo the keys. We'll replace a lot of felt and leather and cloth. Replace the bridle straps. Rebuild all the hammer butts. Replace the the shanks. Um, regulate everything so everything's functioning correctly. strings missing up here. Just two out of the three strings there. Looks like somebody tied, yeah, they tied one. And we've got something weird here. I'm not sure. Looks like maybe there's a crack in this bridge and somebody, 